I'm going through the uh, SparkFun Inventors Kit projects um, one by one. And right now I am at Circ04, which is um, basically ma using a servo. So Circ03 is a regular hobby motor, which is this. And I'll just uh, point out the differences. Basically, with the hobby motor, you just apply the power and it makes it go. The servo, you can send signals to um, indicate the position. And so um, you can tell it you want to position it at an offset of however many degrees off of zero. Now, the um, example in that's included in the Arduino um, sample set, sample um, code, um, positions from zero to 180. But you do need to know the specifications of the particular motor that you're using. So this one is, if we can see that, um, it says a micro server, 9 grams, A0090. But I did look this up on the SparkFun uh, site, and um, if you go to the SparkFun site for this particular kit, the SparkFun Inventors uh, kit, and then you look at the parts that are included, you will um, see a link to the motor and the specifications of the motor. So this motor, you'll find out, um, only permits rotation from 0 to 170. And so that is why when you set it up with the base code, you'll get the movement, but it'll only go... Um, oh, so I adjusted the... Um, I adjusted the program. So I'm going to download the program again. So compiling. Right now it's doing the uh, program that I last installed, which I don't remember what that was. It's uploading now, so now we can see that the upload is complete. So this is the uh, base program. It's a sweep, but you see it's not going to 180 degrees, it's actually going to somewhat less, and that's just a um, limitation of the motor itself. So basically that's all. So when you do this, you want to have an attachment on it so that you can actually see the movement because it, you know, if you don't, then it makes it hard to see. And to apply this particular um, attachment, you probably will want a jewelry Phillips head, so just so that you can be prepared for that, because it's a very tiny screw. That's it. So they do have some other ideas, but that's all I'm doing. So um, the circuit is very simple. It's basically connecting up these um, uh, three wires: one to positive, one to ground, and one to the control pin which in this case is pin 9. Okay.